All righty. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the campus of Love of Christian University. My name is Lan, and I'm joined by Scotty. Hey, how's it going, y'all? Oh, man, I'm ready to see some more Smash Bros. It's been a while. Uh, we haven't we haven't seen some. Well, I mean, we had we had the break and everything, <laughs> yeah. so we're we're back and and getting this thing going. And, and you're, you, it's a big one because you're gonna see some familiar characters on this team uh, that LCU plays against today. Yeah, I was getting the getting the lowdown from Coach Hackett, and I was like, hmm. I, I think I've seen some of these characters Just before. a few of them. Just a few of them. <laughs> uh, and this is a team that we have played before. We did drop the game to them earlier in the semester. So I'm really excited to see how both of these teams have grown since then. Uh, and I know both teams have been grinding to get to where they're at. So we're super excited to get this thing going. Before we get going into the game, we're going to have a verse of the day. It's going to come from Psalms 119.2. It says, Blessed are those who keep his testimonies, who seek him with their whole heart. It's a good thing to... Uh, keep in mind right now especially as we're going through finals and all that kind of stuff everybody's busy down during the end of the year christmas season and stuff and remember what's uh really important so uh that's gonna be our verse for the stream i want to welcome everybody in to the chat i see mr hackett and dark loud i see i see y'all in there appreciate y'all being here taking time out of y'all's day uh to to be in the chat with us so um we're, we're we're seeing a rematch, and they've played these people before. And we, we mentioned that they they dropped the the match to them earlier. What is the most important thing to keep in mind when you're you're playing a rematch to a team that you've you've lost to before? How do you focus and prepare for that mentally? So mentally, you go, okay, I've seen everything they have before, and yes, we came up short last time, but um, I know that we have made those adaptations um, based on what we saw last time mm -hmm. to. Uh, have a little better game plan going into this one. And I, I think that'll be really cool to see. And especially, uh, we'll, you'll see the characters as they come out. But these characters will look familiar to y'all. So um, to have to have the people like you and, and Trey and Gavin to be able to, to coach them up and help them out with some of these matchups. Yeah, we've, we've been invaluable. drilling these matchups specifically just you know because of the circumstances y'all will find out <laughs> we're not keeping it very secret <laughs> so they're doing a button check a little uh lag check real quick and then we'll be uh we'll be rolling into this thing and uh first up on on the docket for for lcu we're going to have mr grin himself taking the stage usually he's up here commentating but he is out there competing today super excited to see what is in store for that and you got a quick peek of it but it is going to be the joker versus Insane. no no that's that's just button oh, checking. That's bu okay they're I was, just button checking I, okay yeah, good, no good, good. they're just button checking okay I, I got really confused for a second but uh good good to know making sure that connection's all right all that stuff interesting Okay, yeah, <laughs> but uh, as we keep going and, and getting into this thing, uh, it is it is best of three. It's the same format, um, not going to change like some of the other games do throughout the playoffs, but the winner of this one does have the spot in the conference finals, and I really I know LC really wants that. Uh, they've been, I mean, that's what you compete for all Yeah, that's, that's kind of the point, yeah. And so uh, <laughs> they've definitely been grinding, getting ready for this game, and uh, we're super excited to see to see the work that they've put in right in front of our faces today. What is most important when you go into these big games to, to start out? How do you, if you're going to tell Mr. Grin one thing, what, what are you telling him right now? Just keep your pace, uh, play your game and keep it at your pace. Uh, uh, one big pitfall that all of these guys really struggle with sometimes is uh, trying to play too fast, getting a little too hungry for it. Um, and they, it causes some minor errors. So, I, we've been really telling them, hey, you got to slow down and really think out every option you throw out. And we are now actually underway this time. It is going to be the Incineroar still. And tell us a little bit, Al Alex plays uh, this character. It's been his main always. Uh, what, what do you... What, so, what are the strong, <laughs> strong points? So uh, that neutral B is going to be a big tool if he remembers to use it. A little bit of uh, the Alolan whip there getting back to the ledge but um yeah using these uh high priority aerials better recovery just better character and uh if you if you start taking a bunch of hits sit back and zone a little bit the only thing you really need to watch out for is that revenge playing a little 
too aggressive right now. Only a little bit behind, though. Both of these characters very capable of killing each other. Back throw might even do it here. No good air dodge in. And yeah, so far, I mean, it's just been this Incineroar and, and the Wolf just brawling back and forth. Um, yeah, they scrapping. And, and that laser might have been enough. No, kept his jump. The toughest thing for me is the side B for, for Wolf because... Uh, I, a time or two have gone flying off the map. Um, <laughs> yeah, <it happens. laughs> yeah. We we um especially with uh, Grin, he he really likes those wolf flash combos, and um, they're just they're just not consistent, and the move puts you in free fall. So yeah, you got to be really careful with where you use it. There are good places for that tool. Back throw should clean this one up. And that one will take it. Both teams at 11 stocks right now. One gone from either side. Oh, great parry from the AM side. And both players right now trying to get a little bit of an advantage as they are just in a deadlock right now. Two stocks apiece, sitting at that middle percentage range. Oh, got up too early and ran right into that side B. Luckily did not take the full force of that side B. Bringing the game back in his favor with a little nair on the uh, open spot of uh, Darkest Lariat, or uh, Alolan, no, Darkest Lariat, had it right the first time. And that revenge going to come out, will make it back though. Ooh, gets rid of the revenge with the grab, so that back throw not only gives him good stage position, but reset the revenge for the moment, gets a laser there to uh, pick it back up. Still has that revenge out there. Gotta be careful on the ledge here. 84% with rage is, uh, Prime dying to Incineroar side B on the way back in percent. And right now, Grin was doing a really good job. Lost it right there at the end, but did a good job with stage control with spacing very well. Incineroar was able to impose his will. Did take that stock, but at 165%, uh, you don't have to do a lot to, to take yeah. this stock Looking away. for these F tilts, you know, just trying to catch him sleeping a little bit. Might get a little too hungry for it. Back throw a little too shallow into the stage or might have done it. Will make it back to stage barely. He's at 186% is Incineroar. These next Ooh, few stocks. Good grab off of the parry. Jabs or uh, pummels way too many times. 208% here for this Incineroar. And this this percentage, which I mean it's off the table now, but that percentage was really important for Incineroar to try and build up some sort of a lead. He didn't, and now Grin is looking to take advantage. Grin takes the lead back here. Very slight percent leads here. It's not the end of the world if you're the Incineroar. Um, you still feel pretty good, but now it's getting to uh, snowball a little bit here in the favor of Grin. Especially in a matchup where it's been so close this whole time. This is probably the biggest percentage lead that we've seen so far. Uh, and it's important, Ooh, for, greedy. important for Grin to stay locked in here and take this stock away and ensure the LCU lead going into the next matchup. There's an up air to back air, catches him just a little bit of sleep at the wheel there, trying to get back down onto the stage. And uh, LCU with a one stock lead. Yeah, and I know it sounds like we, we talk about this all the time, and that the, the first match is important, but I really think that this, this next matchup is where it becomes it, the if, most important. If Grin can get one, it's yeah. huge. Um, yeah. it, that that ad advantage. Um, it, losing more stocks to one player. Mm -hmm. um, it's so killer on the mental, especially early on here. Um, these guys know all three matchups coming up, one of them a little less than the others. Mm -hmm. um, Incineroar was kind of a wild pick. We didn't see Incineroar <laughs> on the radar there. But... Sometimes, especially when you're into these playoffs, you got to pull out characters. Maybe other people haven't seen I, them. I mean, I... Uh, take the ace up your sleeve. Yeah, I mean, yeah. that's why I keep the Samus <laughs> in the back pocket, you know? <laughs> Just got to gotta sprinkle it in there every once in a while. And uh, Grin did a really good job, though, of, of being ready for that matchup. And, and I, I will say, he does enjoy playing Incineroar, so I, it wouldn't surprise me if he knows a lot about that matchup. Yeah. And it looked like he knew a fair amount, was just missing some spacing things. Grin is also very knowledgeable about the game, just in general. Um, I, I would say so, more than some of the other guys on the team. He 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 understands the game, the ins and outs. and um, He looks at frame data. <laughs> and uh, so, worked in our favor for this one. And LCU finds themselves with a one-stock advantage currently. Not quite sure who we're going to see up next for TAMIU, but... I, I, I'm excited to see who they're going to bring out and see how LCU can uh, can keep this thing rolling. And 
uh, being a team that you've lost to in the past, um, you mentioned that. I mean, you, you've got to just got to control the tempo. You got to you got to play your game. You can't let them impose their will. Um, judging off that first game, how, how did Grin do? So uh, Grin did a better job of it this time around against this team than uh, the previous time. The uh, previous time he was, you know, kind of running at them and kind of we call it holding W, the you know, holding forward. Yeah. Um, played it a little more slow. I'd like to see him slow it down just a hair more. Um, but overall, got it done, so can't complain too much. And I think you saw a little bit uh, at the very end of that matchup where he kind of got comfortable, locked in, and that's where you saw that percentage lead uh, manifest itself. And so sometimes you're playing, and you're, it's, it's a playoff game. The adrenaline's high. You're ready to go, and it just takes a second to – Get in the game, get locked yeah, in. Yeah, and, and again, we're coming off of a break, so yeah. you have that competition jitter kind of mm -hmm. deal going. Been a minute since anybody's been to a tourney out here. And you had to wait all week, not to mention, I mean, it's Thursday. You've seen all the other teams play in their playoff games, and like oh, our game's coming up on Thursday. You build it up in your head, and it's finally here. So sometimes that happens, and um, it, it was good for for Alex to to get locked in right there, build up a little bit of confidence, and hopefully take a stock, may, maybe two, maybe three. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Any anything here is uh, is extra though. Um, any one of those guys in that room are are capable from taking the reins from here mm -hmm. if uh, Alex were to go down. Um, and I think got a problem matchup out of the way in Incineroar. I'm not sure any of the other guys would be as comfortable in that matchup yeah. as Alex is. Yeah, and I mean, <clears throat> once you you talk about how important it is for LCU, but for A and M International, uh, it, it, this is this is more important for them to try and tie this thing up. Like you said, it, it is a killer on on any sort of momentum, anything like that. Whenever you drop one stock right here, it's a one v one. You've got to go in. You're playing a, a three stocks to two stocks with whoever the next guy is, at least. Yeah, yeah it's. I mean, that's where it starts to get you in trouble so we see the rob coming out here is someone we expected to make an appearance and like we talked about some of the some of the people that we see you, we have a resident Ooh, rob player a, <laughs> just, just one random rob guy he's not very good <laughs> but uh we're, we're, we, he's got some experience with this matchup so we'll see how this goes obviously the rob is going to be trying to uh take this stock away from from grin as fast as possible Grin will drop off the two stocks that he lost in the first match, and it will be game on from here. There is the emote, and they are good to go. The emote. The <laughs> emote. <laughs> Ooh, the hitbox extension from the gyro almost messed up that combo, but good heads-up gameplay from Grin to uh, uh, not worry too much about it. Got a little lucky on the latter half of the hitbox. Now getting pressured in the corner. Finds a way out of it. Right now finds himself at a little bit of a lead. You'd like to see that Ooh, hang around. See, that's where I'm talking about. You've got to be more patient. That led to the down wow. air. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you have him in the corner. You have to just keep him there. There's no reason to dash attack into his shield there. Yeah. And that will even things up at nine stocks apiece. Grin will check out of this one. There will be a new player coming in for LCU. We'll see who that is in just a little bit. But I, I even think that was enough, though, from Grin. Um, got the three stocks and kind of shook this Rob mm -hmm. a little bit off the get-go. Got a little lucky break out of it, the Rob did. But yeah. um, uh, now uh, you're trying to figure out who can come in and uh, play against Rob. You know that they have Rob experience. Mm -hmm. So even though you got the dub last time, it can be a little daunting. And and you saw, like like you mentioned, that there was enough from Grin right there where he he looked comfortable for sixty percent of that right up until the very end. Uh, he he died at relatively low percentage yeah um, and earlier than he should have exactly so you'd love to see if, if they're in a situation like that again i think there will be confidence there with grin he knows what he needs to do you could see it on his face after it happened he knows what he did wrong um and i think he'll be uh he'll be ready to go whenever we yeah i, th I think game two or set two mm -hmm. I, I don't think we'll see that mistake again <clears throat> and so yeah i'm, I'm excited to 
see see what happens as we as we learn and adapt that's one of the cool things about this game is not only do you have to adapt from from week to week and get better and new characters but you've got to adapt within your set and then you've got to adapt within your game so yeah i mean a second to second you have to be ready in case their game plan shifts that yeah. way you know we plan around the plan that they plan around our plan <laughs> That's a perfect way to put that. <laughs> and uh, we'll we'll figure out who's up for LCU in just a little bit as they are going through the map banning process and everything. Tell us a little bit about the map banning process. What happens? So um, winner gets to uh, ban, I believe it's three stages in this format mm -hmm. still. Yep. Um, and uh, the rest of the legal... I wish we had a graphic for this. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the rest of the legal stages, um, the loser gets to choose from. Uh, so if you're um, on the winning side and you don't know who's coming in, um, in this format, it's better to ban stages you're uncomfortable on, mm. um, ban stages for who you think is going to come in. Right. And uh, you want to try and keep your stages that you want to play on and force, uh, hopefully, a neutral pick. Right. Um, we just have so many stages where, unless they really mess up, um, you're, you're never, if you're on the winning side of things, you're probably not going to play on your favorite stage. Okay. And yeah, so that's what happens, like between whenever a game ends and a game starts there's communication going on between the two teams yeah i mean even on the uh, premier level we'll we'll look to each other and go hey um what do y'all think about banning battlefield mm -hmm. um i feel comfortable on battlefield but blah 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 yeah um they, it, it's part of the the uh team aspect of the of the format yeah and that's what i mean having having guys in your corner who uh, know know your game, know your style. It really helps whenever you're you're familiar with your teammates because yeah, you can't and, and you can talk your teammates through. Hey, this is where you're short right now. This is where you're excelling, um, and, and what stages are going to exemplify that? Yeah, and I believe we are just seconds away from being into this next one. And uh, once they are in the arena, we will be live showing it as well. Is there? They're they're taunting us right now. They've got their little icon over the over the arena. And we'll see if they uh, see if they decide to jump in. There we there go. There we go. Now now we're in. We've got one person in the stands watching. <laughs> um, so yeah. Alrighty, a <laughs> little bit of a twist out here from our boy Mac Main ditching the K rule for Palatina. And Palutena, I was told when I first started playing this character, I was like, I hate what do this I do? character. They said, just, just nair. Cry. <laughs> it just, if, if you're Palutena, just nair. If it, you're Palutena, just nair. And when they <laughs> stop getting hit by nair, you start up airing. <laughs> and it is, uh, yeah, it's a vicious cycle to be in. Very strong character. I, I like this pick, though, into Rob. Can play around that gyro really well. Gets rid of it right there. Gets the uh, forward air. A little bit of chip damage. Ooh, tries to pick it up there. Gets a down throw fair. Nair clanks with the uh, up air and gets hit by the second hit. Yeah, so far, it looks like both people kind of trying. They're trying to scrap it out at the moment. Yeah, so this is going to be a battle of the Nairs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and right now, it is. Might, might be top two Nairs in the game. <laughs> going ever so slightly in the favor of the rob right now still lots of time in this game though and like i said ever so slightly as you have about a 40 50 percent lead but uh with palatina that can disappear very quickly teleports in spot dodge the dash grab gets a uh, rapid jab punish into the explosive flame and that is one of the not not a lot of characters just teleport um, just smash it just smash <laughs> it you could just mash it on the ledge it's literally free <laughs> Back throw, gonna come out right there. And now, I mean, just gives up that ledge position there. Not sure if that's like uh, competition jitters or dealing with new character struggles on how to trap on the ledge here, but uh, gets hit with that Rob BNB and nods his head, knows what's up, gets right into the second stock. LCU finds himself at a disadvantage for the first time of the match today. 
only by a stock at the moment. And uh, it, it's important for Macman right here to, to get this stock off the Rob, get working on the second one, and not build up enough damage so that the Rob can feel comfortable uh, going into his last two stocks. Nair to up air here. Doesn't try to uh, overextend it. This Rob player very good about uh, knowing when his combos end. Yeah, and doing a good job right now of playing with his percentage. He's at 134%. Just Three. low profile that laser. Again, another another skinny laser gonna be coming out. Not gonna find a whole lot. Uses that invincible back air to play around that gyro. I like the call out there. Explosive flame gets it off the top. Very nice. Evened up here at eight stocks a piece. Mac main 48%. The Rob is at zero. Ooh, Not... ill-advised counter there. Counters in Smash, eh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> they can be good sometimes. No, Keep not usually. <laughs> sometimes, with... yes, but uh, most of the time, yeah. not the best option you could be doing yeah, in the situation. It was, was not the case right there that they were able to uh, to benefit from it, but um, as, as they continue to battle it out and continue to go after it uh, as now Palatina at one stock 22 percent you find yourself a stock behind in this match what do you what do you have to do here with your final stock uh you have to play so safe now um take your combos where you can get them but um you might have to end some stuff early to be safe um you can't take too many more of these trades um you have to figure out how to approach this rob a little bit better and I think that's one of the tough things, and maybe, I mean, you've got some insight on this, but when you play against somebody like Rob, who is so aggressive and wants to be right up in your face, how do you play safe? Well, um, Palutena has options to kind of sit back, and, and Christian's already starting to kind of use some of those. Um, don't like these approaching nares here, but throws that gyro out. Can use that explosive flame and the auto reticle to... Um, yeah, keep them trapped in this zone and run up grab when they try to do something, but jumps up into the back air. Good DI to not die off the side. Teleport recovery getting hit by the gyro. Good late recovery. Oh, got caught right there, but did a good job getting out of it. Yeah, gets the shield up there to avoid that F smash. And it'd, it'd be nice to... Uh, it's not essential to get this stock right here for Christian, but... It'd be, it'd, be, it. <laughs> it'd be really good if he did. You don't want this damage to go to waste. Because um, on the other side of the coin we were talking about earlier, when you lose a lead like that, um, and this is going to clean it up here. No, good match from Christian. Um, when you lose a lead like they had and you regain that lead on the opposing side, um, it, when your mental was lower earlier, it, it, it's better now. Because you, you've built that lead back up and you flip the tables on him. Up throw, getting it done there. Yeah, and this Rob right now doing a really good job of taking what has been given to him and has put uh, A&M International up by two stocks currently. It's eight to six. And you touched on it two seconds ago, but you take the, you take the lead. It, it's only a stock lead, but you have a stock lead. And you go against this Rob, he evens it up, and now you find yourself two stocks down. Um, there, there's a little bit of a regrouping that has to take place. Uh, and um, with the characters left, um, I like their odds of rallying from it because um, uh, any of the three possibilities um, all excel at taking stocks early mm -hmm. or zoning uh, are heavy and can play the waiting game. So if you can outpatient, you can get this lead back. And I think we mentioned like momentum is definitely on the side of A&M International right now. That that's that's for sure. But you are coming in with a stock lead in in this specific game right here. You you have three stocks, this Rob has two stocks. You have to take advantage of that. Yeah, you have to get as much as you can out of it. Um and with who they're sending in, I don't want to spoil it yet. <laughs> um, going to have to slow it down to a crawl. Might see all 10 minutes of that timer going up here. <laughs> that would be that'd make for some uh, frustrating It'd be interesting, for the Rob, for but, sure. But also, it's Rob. So, yeah. like, you got to do what you got to do. Uh, yeah. And that's that's been the thing, I mean, this whole time is 
you've got to slow it down just a little bit. You've got to play your game. I, I think specifically here, yeah, you want to have those nine, nine and a half minute games yeah. now. Especially against this Rob who has just been ultra aggressive. <laughs> uh, yeah. All up in your face every single, every single opportunity that he's had. Uh, it's really going to frustrate the Rob and force him into well, situations and, and you don't want to be in. And as far as the rest of the team goes, they they're probably sitting there waiting to play. So um, ice them out, ice, ice them out a little, a little bit. Little bit of ice. And we'll see if they are. See if they're able to do that, and uh, we'll see what map is going to be picked for LCU. As um, we, it's eight to six right now. We're in set number one. For those of y'all, if y'all are just tuning in, we're uh, at the very beginning of this thing, and this is the semifinals. So. If whoever wins this game will be moving on to the conference finals, have a potential for three conference championships next week with uh, the Rocket League team, the Overwatch team. And if Smash wins this one, it would be the, the be three huge. teams. And we'll make for an incredible week of LCU Esports. We'll be regardless, but um, we'd love to see the, the Smash Bros. team also competing for that. Guapote coming out here with the snake. And this is somebody... I remember when he first started, he has gotten so much better. Well, and, and so when Coach brought me in uh, two semesters ago mm. to kind of start working with these guys before I started officially going here, um, Jake is one of these guys that I pulled aside and was like, hey, you can be really good at this game. Yeah. You just have to learn it. I don't he's, know if he... he's got he has got the skill set required to be very good at this game. I don't think he still does, but when he first started, he played with broken the, the Joy Cons like yeah. in each hand, and that no, just I, I my think mind. he's on Pro Controller now. <laughs> glad, glad he's made. He's the definitely switch. not on Joy Con though. <laughs> I'm glad the switch was made. But right now, um, getting handsy with this Rob and not what he needs to do in this situation. Yeah, already dropping one of the back air there off the gyro. Yeah, and it, if, if you're Rob, that's. Perfect situation for you right there. That's yeah, exactly you're, you're feeling you great about what's going on right now. And now it's going to become how, how do you how do you bring yourself back? Is he's going to go across the stage to recover right there? How do you how do you get back into this Rob's head? How do you frustrate him and do it? exactly what he's doing right now? Um, know that Rob's resources besides Gyro are somewhat limited as far as uh, zoning tools. Um, again, Gyro, one of the best tools in the game. Not discounting that. Gonna use that Nikita to try and trap Ooh. this Rob down here. Out of gas. Air dodges to the ledge. Just made it back onto the stage. And uh, we're seeing some of that slowing it down that we were talking about yeah, before. Just not using it efficiently right now. Letting this Rob get his uh, laser back and use this Gyro however he wants. Finds that up tilt there. Finally gets that stock. Yeah, really, really badly needed that one. And you really, I mean, you need to take this next stock from the Rob before you lose one of your own to feel like you're in, you're back into this game. Yeah, good um, job not rolling into the uh, Rob dashing with Gyro. And at 158%, got to use some of that rage to your advantage. Um, got to be careful. At max rage now, can't be taking up airs like that. And that, that's, I mean, that's the exact situation you're looking for when you're saying slow it down. You're at max rage. Uh, you need it. You need to have it. Slowing it down right there is... Uh, is so, so important. And I know we're, it's it's a lot easier said than done. But yeah. um, going well, forward... Well, I, I mean, you, you just have to look at how this Rob uses Gyro, right? Mm -hmm. um, he's not, like turbo comboing you like most robs will at an upper level he's doing like a basic one hit off the gyro stuff so um i i don't know the aptitude for that that this rob has but i haven't seen it yet so you can take that to your advantage grab that gyro make him work to get to you and we're seeing a little bit more of that is the projectiles can't can't keep getting hit by that laser uh that's what's that's what sets up the rob engage at least so far what we've seen this rob will use that laser to to build up his engage with no, the gyro stay on the other side Doing the best you can get can. the stock if you please just back up very important to grab one more stock here at least 
and get this Rob out of the game. Shield's low, another C4. Might shield poke here. Probably let it regen too much now. Flashes that shield. It might still be in the poke window, but got to be careful here. Dangerous situation. Roll it. Everybody rolling. <laughs> Up front and center with this Rob, and both players going to back out. Go to their respective sides and, and restart Gets this that thing. that dash attack. Nikita, nobody home as the laser comes in. And it is there. Oh, tried to get him there. Almost got it, but just rolled out in time. Gets the up tilt there. And um, got it done. But uh, a little bit of trouble getting there. Yeah. The the important thing, like you said, he, he, did, he did get the stocks away from that, Rob. Um, he... LCU is not any further down now than they were before, but they're also not any closer than they were before. And and we're running out of uh, about to say running out of stocks to work with. Only only four stocks left to bring this back. So eventually, and that that comes now. Uh, going even doesn't help. It has you. to get at least two here. I think. Mm. It, Preferably, obviously, preferably you take all three, and we yeah, love yeah. to see you that. You want happen. as many as you can, but <laughs> but to, to I feel think good. feasibly to to feel like you're back in this, you mm. have to get at least two here. And only uh, it's only four to six, but four to six is a lot closer. I mean, a lot further away than it is when it's like uh, like eight to ten or something yeah. like that. Like you, <laughs> the, the meat of the game is gone right now. You're, yeah, when, you're when you have that much game left, there's anything that can happen. Yeah. And like like a Rob who could come in and, and take a bunch of stocks. Um, I, I think we'll be losing less stocks to that, Rob. I um, fully agree. <laughs> I, I think if Alex plays that Rob again, it'll be a little different. Mm -hmm. And again... It was a good start from LCU. Uh, there, there's just a little bit of a hiccup, and that's gotta, how gotta clean up things a little <clears> bit. <throat> and that's how that's where the differences come in these games. Uh, if everybody played the game perfect, it would just it would just be even yeah, th back there and wouldn't forth. be a game. <laughs> and so uh, you've got to take it. You're gonna mess up. You're going to have these moments where you're not doing the exact right thing. But it's about how you how you recover from that, what you do next, and how you keep playing the game throughout. And that goes. That goes with everything in life, first of all, but especially when we're talking about Smash Bros. That's how you move forward. <laughs> As, uh, yeah. tell, tell us a little bit who, who we have uh, on the other side. This character sucks. <laughs> character bad. <laughs> now, Jigglypuff Snake, um, if there was ever a time you could get all three stocks, it would be this matchup. Got to take advantage of the, of the lightness, the floatiness of this character. Second lightest character in the game. Best uh, horizontal aerial movement speed in the game. And you got to be careful for that. Another person who wants to be right up, <laughs> going to be right in your face, trying to combo you. Yeah, it's the only way she has to fight. So you kind of can know a little bit about what's going to come at you when you're fighting a Jigglypuff. Uh, you, you know you don't want to be where Jake is right now. You know you want to be. Um, I like the stage pick. Um, only thing I did warn... Uh, Guapote about about this stage with Jigglypuff is that uh, if he misses a tech on the platform, he's probably going to sleep. <laughs> going to recover will make it back. Armor's through with the Cypher. At 110%, 130% now. The, the odds of taking multiple stocks are, are it's dwindling, but you have well, to make sure you Well, not take necessarily, care. because Jigglypuff can sometimes have a lot of trouble killing if it's not off a straight aerial like that back air. <laughs> um, so, yeah, just had to play out of her burst range and, uh, you know, just a little behind the pace there. And it is now a three stock advantage, the largest advantage of the match for AM International, as the anchor for LCU is going to come out. And uh, again, it, it is knowing the matchup that's about to come. Um, so this one, a little <laughs> less good on our side. <laughs> uh, we'll get into it when they when they get on screen, but um, definitely we we practiced this matchup yesterday. Mm. He ended up taking a couple of games off my puff yesterday. Okay. So we'll see. Uh, hopefully, we'll see. hopefully he can keep that flow going. 
and see where they decide to take this uh, in terms of the stage. But again, we do know it is a Jigglypuff. And I think you guys are starting to catch on a little bit to what we said uh, at the beginning, that some of these characters look a little, a little bit familiar. familiar. <laughs> And we're not done with that. And we're not. We're There's not a couple done. more floating around there. <laughs> <laughs> One more. <laughs> so uh, we'll see. We'll see a few more of those come out. But um, for, for LCU and, and whoever is is the anchor right here, knowing that you're down these these three stocks, it, I, in my opinion, you have to keep playing within yourself. You cannot go. I mean, you have to try and make something happen. But the moment that you try and play outside of yourself, you try and do too much, uh, that's where you're going to get punished. And that's where uh, A&M International is going to try and close this thing out. Yeah. Um, big if Jigglypuff takes zero here. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> that would put us um, in a... And it's very feasible. Again, me and this player did a uh, little bit of practice yesterday. And uh, I, I think he finally had something click in the matchup for him. Mm -hmm. Sometimes that's just... It, and, and that stage selection is a good sign. That's where it all started for him yesterday. And sometimes that... Uh, it's like a... If you can imagine like a, a lighthouse and you're, you're trying to figure out what's going on and then eventually just boom, hits you like a... <laughs> hits you with the I light coming from the lighthouse. Like, what? wow. <laughs> huh? And uh, getting into it, it is going to be Mogert and the Bowser going up against this puff. And while it might be favor on the puff side, one uh, one good I, S match. I, I, I put the matchup at like even. This is my favorite matchup in the game to play, though. Really? I really like fighting Bowser's. I the the area you have to hit rest. I'm gonna guess is quite a bit bigger uh, than Bowser. There's there's characters where it's easier to hit it on, but it, the matchup is like it's challenging enough where it's not free. Yeah. Like it is with some characters. Mm -hmm. Um, but easy enough where you're like, okay, I'm not handicapped like I am with against the half of the cast. Yeah. And this, I, I, I say this almost every time I cast for... Oh, got one early Ooh. with a call out up smash already on top of it. And I talk about this pretty much every time I cast, but <clears throat> the growth that Mogert has shown, and this goes for, I mean, I talked about it with Jake a little bit as well, but coming into here, not knowing anything about competitive Smash Bros to where he is now, uh, is a testament to, to Ooh, saved with the near. Go ahead. To all of the players on on y'all Smash Team. Assessment to you and everybody who helps him and coach for ah, we. developing this. <laughs> we we just tell them what they already know. They just don't <laughs> know they know it. <laughs> and right now, this this puff seeming to to lock in just a little bit as Mogert's having trouble here on stock yeah, number two. Um, this this percentage spread is kind of where it gets a little difficult for Bowser in the matchup because um, every aerial is going to send a long way away. So uh, in in other matchups where Puff would kind of sometimes struggle to kill at these higher percents, not so on Bowser. And so far, uh, it's we're dead even. And as we said before, you cannot go dead even anymore. Um, well, you kind of can versus Puff, right? Um, 21 to 66 percent i think even even uh if the stocks are even here jab lock i uh, not dead to the rest here oh bad di died off the top and that is going to bring lcu down to their last stock of set number one Let's see if mogert is able to clean things up here against the jiggly putting puff. on good damage here good corner situation look for that f tilt is the correct option there some people might think down smash but no f tilt very good at covering that ledge and right now this puff and this is sometimes a good position to be in when you you are the one who uh, yeah, the, the uh, pressure is is all on this puff to, to close this oh out that right could have been a rest it might not have killed there Woo! gets hit with the down air but yeah jiggly puff uh, one of those characters that slept on when it comes to like abusing rage. Yeah. Um, it makes our combo so consistent. Any, anytime you're above 50% as Puff, um, as long as you're not in danger of dying, you're feeling pretty good. And right now, 114% uh, for Mogert. Again, Bowser is very heavy, and so does still have a little bit left in the tank, but you have to be very careful. You cannot get caught by any of these combos from the Puff. Ops to punish with a back air there could have been a heavier punish. Just trying to get any sort of spacing possible with Puff yeah. right on top uh, of it. Very hard to get back onto the uh, ledge against Puff. 
just specifically because she can go out there. She could stay on stage. Both of them right now, right in each other's face. And, and one solace that Mogert has is this puff isn't chasing him off stage as much as um, some other puffs would be. And at 87%, 100%, this is kill kill percentage yeah, for Mogert. Yeah, any, any like wacky smash attack, but caught it with a back air there as we go into set two. And we, you look at set number one, and it all all they need to do is clean up little things. Yeah, they were so close so many times throughout set number one, and and even it, it can come to if you take even one more stock away from that rob in the middle and yeah. give give it, your it, teammate if, a better. If Alex found that stock versus the rob, mm -hmm. um, I think it's a completely different set. Um, I, I think going into set two, we'll see a little bit of shifts. Um, we've got, I think, Tiki's in there with them. Mm -hmm. I know Trey's in there. Um, they 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 have the cabinet, yeah. the, the advisory. <laughs> so. Yeah, we they're hanging out there in there with them and uh, giving them giving them some advice. So I. You know that you're in uh, you're in good hands. They're going to make these changes, and you saw it on their faces most of the time. Something would happen, and, and they're just they like, knew "Ah, it. I knew better." Like, I, so they they know it themselves. They'll hear it from their teammates. Uh, you've got to rally, and we've seen games even even with y'all in the in the premier division where um, y'all will dominate a team, like just blow them out of the water one set, and it's just because some something went something your little way. change yeah. and. Set number two will just be a totally different ball game because maybe you didn't get this advantage that you did in the first set. And so uh, you can't get down on yourself, and that's that's something especially yeah, in Smash. Yeah, um, that, that's the beauty of best of three because I'd be really upset if um, we were best of one right here in this situation because yeah. I, I, if I were in their shoes, I really feel like we can claw back these uh, next two sets. And uh, see Shark Surfers in here. Appreciate you being here. You missed set number one. It did go the way of A and M International. I think four to well, four to zero. I guess was the final stock yeah, count. Four zero. Uh, and so A and M International did take set number one. About to be underway in set number two. And this is another thing that I really like to see. Uh, and everybody has their own opinions on how this goes. But deciding the order that you put people out in is one of my favorite things because there's such a a mind and it's, to it. And this is where the format changes Smash, because in a in a normal Smash tournament, uh, maybe with character counter picks, but you have a whole team to counter pick against yeah. and counter pick with. Right. Um, so it's another big aspect that's different from your average like Smash tournament. Mm. Um, that a lot of players, you know, sometimes they don't know how to counter pick in a crew battle. Yeah. So. Very important to learn this side of the game, too. And especially when I, I really love watching it, like in, in premier games and stuff like that, when you know that there's this one guy who is who is their anchor. Like, they're, they're excited to put him in every single game. Um, and deciding, do you want to put them in at the start of the game to, to give you that momentum and get rolling on this thing? Do you want to put them in at the end of the game because you're going to need them down the stretch? You throw them in whenever there's a matchup that you like. That the the mind games behind all of that and the the amount of opportunities there are just yeah. and it and it all can change on the fly. It's very reactionary. Yeah. Um, because if you plan, you you tend to plan out the whole crew battle, and if something changes, you have to make those adjustments on the fly with yeah. what you have. Jackson says, "How many A and M schools are there? There are too lots many of them. <laughs> there are lots of them, and." Uh, this is this is a good one. There's another A&M school that is a big rival of LCU, West Texas A&M. Uh, it's not who we're playing today, but there there's there's lots of A&Ms and uh, just a couple. Yeah, just just a few. And that's another cool thing. I mean, we don't talk about this often, but to to see like Smash has its own scene. All these games kind of have their own scene, but to see the the esports collegiate scene and see where it's coming and see, to see how it's grown since even I've been here, uh, really special to see some of this stuff and to see some of the different programs around the country. So we're back on the tried and true here. King K. Rule to go into this game, one of set two versus a Bowser Jr. 
Very interesting. I believe this one is Lemmy. Not not a not a character you see a whole lot. Right? Not a character I see a whole lot anyway. Um, uh, <laughs> for a long time, our number one yeah. in Lubbock was a <laughs> Bowser Jr. main. Right now, sitting about uh, probably number two on the uh, PR for Lubbock right now. Yeah. And, and is a very strong character, as you can uh, see. <laughs> if, if you know what you're doing. Um, That's every character in this game, though. Typically, true. we think of Bowser Jr. as like a, a an upper low tier, lower mid tier character. Yeah. Somebody that I wish I got to see, and I, I've never seen him played in a Nace game. I don't think I'll ever see them played in an Ace game is Olimar. Um, I don't think I'm ever going to so, get the, uh, the pleasure uh, to see that. Olimar and Wi-Fi, kind of kind of wacky. Okay. You'll, you'll see more Olimars on land. Mm. Um, even then, they're kind of rare out in the wild <laughs> as we drop that first stock there. Um, yeah, the only one I can really think of is DeBuzz, mm. um, and he tends to play other characters mixed in, Rosalina, Luma, Min Min. Um, uh, just a very difficult character to kind of play. And this is the first time that we've seen uh, Christian get a little bit of momentum going his way as it's been all this Bowser Jr. so far and uh, important for LCU to get off to a good start here. As we said last game, the, the, the differences between the two teams and you look at stocks and say, that's big. It's really small. Um, the Where do you find your advantages yeah. are in, in the small details. And so far, that is going the way of A&M International. Wow, could have kept extending, but uh, opted not to. Got a lucky break there from Macmain, but got to find an answer here. Yeah, have to make sure you take a stock right here. It's not the end of the world if you don't, but this match just became so much harder if you are not able to take this stock off the Bowser game. Very rough start there. Unfortunate for LC. So, uh, again, another character we didn't expect to make an appearance, so might not have been as prepared for this one as uh, probably should have been. But um, now you have to just discuss with the team, you know, who do we send in, who feels comfortable versus this uh, kind of niche character. And I think uh, the word comfortable is exactly the word that you're looking for. Um, who who knows a little bit about this this matchup? And um, it's me. I'm going. <laughs> and you you have to whoever comes in next for LCU. Uh, I I would go as far as to say you have to win this this three three stock match. Yeah. Uh, if you find yourselves down. 10 to, uh, 10 to 6, you're, you're in a you're in tough place. Big to trouble. <laughs> and so you've got to make sure that whoever you put in right here, one, is ready for the moment, but two, uh, understands the, the matchup and, and knows what has to be done. So we'll see who uh, the team and Coach Hackett decide to throw in next. And uh, we'll keep moving forward into this thing. As Jackson asks, do you think you can take Bowser Jr. in a fist fight? He can breathe fire. That's fair. He also has a magic paintbrush. I don't think there would be a fist fight. <laughs> if it was I think just I'm a... just. I <laughs> think I'm just done. <laughs> I think I like my chances more than against Bowser. If that if that answers your if question. If it's a at all. straight <laughs> fist fight, oh yeah. <laughs> but no, there's not. They're the 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 villains. They're not playing fair. If you if you had to go into a fist fight with a character from the Smash Ultimate roster, who are you fist fighting? <laughs> <laughs> it, it's Olimar. You know why? <laughs> why? Because <laughs> he's like that big. <coughs> uh, Squish. You know, I was thinking just because I saw the stage. You know, I feel like I feel like I could do some damage to uh, Wii Fit Trainer. <laughs> Uh, we fit trainer works out. That's my true. man Daryl works out. <laughs> they might uh, that might not actually go as well as I'm. You're thinking. getting slept, Jackson. You're getting <laughs> slept. I'm taking on Little Mac. <laughs> uh, yeah, Little Mac would. Uh, there's a there's a fun video essay out there about the power scaling of everybody on the Smash roster. <laughs> Highly recommend that video. <laughs> not who you would expect to come out on top. Interesting. Nice little, nice little teaser to to go watch that video. As uh, we are now in, as Jackson did ask, who is Jake playing? It's Jake the Snake. Of course. 
<laughs> and we are going to be underway. LCU finds themselves down three stocks to start this thing out of set number two here in the semifinals of the NACE playoffs. And we are going to be underway. That box, that's not an emote. Is it, is it an emote? It, it's a taunt, yeah. Okay. Um, but it also has an active hitbox. There is a, a couple of taunts in the game. Uh, Snake's box, Luigi down taunt yeah. is the strongest spike in the game. That's um, hilarious to me. <laughs> uh, Kazuya has a taunt that does damage. I, I, I one day, wow, this Bowser Jr. is crazy. Uh, I, I really want to one day find a, a combo route for Kazuya that incorporates that taunt. Because I feel like you can combo with it. <laughs> I can't imagine getting comboed by a taunt. <laughs> that would be so sad. Nobody's done it yet, though. <laughs> The, the Luigi taunt is probably my it, favorite. It never comes up, but if they're sleeping on the ledge, you, you throw out that down taunt. <laughs> Just kick it, their, it will kick kill their. them at zero if they're on ledge at zero. Really? It is that sh Oh, my gosh. That is strong. <laughs> and right now, LCU not in a yeah, favorable in a position. Big heap trouble. <clears throat> um, that is Finally a good way to get start. That is a good way to start moving in the right direction, but you've got to build on the success that you just found right there. You did take that stock. See if you can keep doing a little bit more here. Ooh, dash attack, very greedy. Gets the clown car dash, not the biggest punish. Grenade gonna save the day there. And this thing just ever so slightly getting closer and closer. As Guapote is doing a little bit better of a job, being patient, letting things come to him. This Bowser Jr. Might have is, saved uh, himself there with the grenade. Mecha Koopa gonna connect. Ooh, couldn't tech that. Untechable. So unfortunate situation. It is now 11 to 7 in terms of stock count. Very, very important the rest of the way for LCU to play about you, as you near perfect as you can. You pretty much gotta play perfect from here on out. Uh, needed to tech there. Gonna be in trouble here. No C4. Uh, 11 to 6 is not where you want to be. And we said, I mean, coming in, if it's even if it's even 10 to 10 to 6, you're in a tough situation. But 11 to 6, again, not impossible. Uh, it's it's never impossible. There's, there's a couple of characters back there that, again, are very good at taking stocks early. Mm -hmm. Uh, Jackson says, isn't Kirby OP? Yes, Kirby's OP. Very interesting. Thanks for spoiling the video for everybody. <laughs> Very interesting. No, yeah, spoiler alert. Wow. Um, headshots don't work on me. Nah, CTE headshots <laughs> don't work on me. <laughs> Jackson does fight his uh, daily battles with CTE. Have you, have you seen some <laughs> of the cutscenes of that? That man fought Mike Tyson. <laughs> Oh, dude. Uh, Mike Tyson is uh, not definitely not somebody I'd want to take a punch <laughs> from. I can tell you that. <laughs> I'm good. I, you know, I'm good. <laughs> I think I'll pass on that one. <laughs> um, LCU now in the semifinals of NACE playoffs. Again, down 11 to 6 in terms of stock count. We're on set number two. And... Uh, it's winner go home for for LCU for for the remaining two sets if they're able to win this one uh, and force a set three they're going to have to win that one as well to find themselves moving on to next Thursday's match and still a long way to go in this one but LCU finding themselves in a situation that you do not want to be in um, because when you break it down at this point in the last game uh, well. After your first round last game, you were a stock ahead. Then it was eight to six, and you ended up dropping four yeah. four to zero. So when you find yourselves five stocks in the other direction uh, early on, the the mental is just being challenged very hard right now to to stay locked in. And um, you even saw it a little bit from from Mogert in that first game where. Uh, probably some things that wouldn't usually frustrate you the way that they are are frustrating you now because the stakes are so high. And so it's going to be really important for Mogard right here to to keep a 
keep a cool head, play within himself, and try and bring this thing back. And uh, it's going to be an uphill battle, I can already tell you, because I am not so sure about this stage pick. On the final destination. You, what, what, what you've effectively done is cut yourself off of escape pass from, from some of these combos. Got to use that air dodge, which eventually they're going to catch on if you air dodge a lot. And this Bowser Jr. this whole time has been just right on top of things with, with spacing and some of those other things. Has done a really good job once he gets stage control, not giving it up. Uh, and that's something that Mogert is going to have to do is, is find a way to regain stage control. Yeah, and, and the linear recovery of Bowser is going to make that such a challenge. Yeah. Tough guy gets through there. A little error from the side of the Bowser Jr. And right Use there, the flame exactly. Breath. Flame breath. Uh, exactly what you have to do to get the stage control back. And then you want to see a little bit of execution from, from then on out. And uh, something we touched on a lot in the last set. You can't go even anymore um, just in terms of stocks because yeah. you are down. You have to find your advantage somewhere. And it's got to start now. Doing a good job of slowing it down. Got to use that neutral B. Gets another stock off of this Bowser Jr. But 138%. Not good especially with a laggy move like up he out of shield barely misses uh honestly one of the worst down tilts in the game out of bowser jr and doing a good job bringing himself back into it right now 70 percent is where this bowser jr is you'd love it and feel so much better if mogert was able to take this stock before building losing up a lot own. of percent here almost at max rage has this bowser jr and kill percent now and now at max rage a back air, a uh, smash attack, anything could take this, but same goes for the Bowser Jr. Uh. Sent the wrong way, DI mix up, weird angle. I think I'm dead off that one too. Oh no, in trouble down here deep and gets edge guarded. So drops two really quick LCU down to four stocks. And you go from maybe getting yourself a two stock uh, advantage in this match to going even again um and it's unfortunate you you've got to find uh you've got to find that that consistency here if you are lcu when you're down to your last four stocks um and you've got to get this stock off the off the bowser jr before before you lose one yourself as 10, 10 to 4 is definitely not the situation that you want to find yourself in yeah and 10 to 3 is even more it finds it with the fair there and it is <clears throat> so going to be a pretty big advantage. An uphill battle here for LCU ahead of them. And uh, did go even. Uh, two two stocks gained for or taken away for both teams. And so it's now nine to four. It was eleven to six before that. And you you have to hope that uh, Mogert can pretty much get a three stock um, coming out. That's a that's a tall order. It's a tough ask, but there that's the situation that you find yourself in is you have to really go big. And that that turning point was you had you had all three stocks. Mogert did, um, and you had the the Bowser Junior to ninety ish percent, and you lost your stock and then had another one gimped from you. Um, and that that was such a big point in this match because say he takes that that last stock from the Bowser Junior and he keeps all three of his. It's six to nine. Yeah, uh, then you're only one person behind. Right. You you have the potential to bring it to even if you three stock somebody, which maybe you do or don't. But you which have is technically possible. Uh, yeah. And but to go from okay, I can three stock somebody and be tied to, I have to three stock somebody with one stock and we're still going to be down two stocks. Like it's just such a tall tall order. Um, and we'll see how LCU is able to answer back against this AM international team and again I, yeah uh, <laughs> not a not a not, lot to say. not impossible yeah um again uh wolf luigi whoever they opt to send in next uh they they excel at getting those stocks quickly so i'm trying to see uh i wanted to pull up where both of these teams sit uh, in terms of uh, overall records for the season, so I'm going to see if I can do a little bit of do a little bit of research and see 
see where both of these teams sit at uh, in terms of just regular season, all that kind of stuff. So it looks like... Make sure that's plus and not premier. Varsity plus. Hold on. Oh, I was like, I'm not looking at the right thing. Okay. Um. Okay. Cruz, varsity plus. So this... <laughs> This a and International team has had a very good season, find themselves 6-0. and They're undefeated on the year and have been moving through things. LCU is 3-3 three and three whenever they played. I guess in terms of, uh, of seeding by, by Mace, uh, LCU is number 35. a and International is number 10. And going on below them in the game, it is Tex West Esports going up against Trailblazers. Trailblazers is up 1-0 to zero right now. So the winner of this game looking to uh, have a date with the winner of the Trailblazer versus Tex West Smash game going on below us. And it is going to be that Incineroar that we and, saw in set one. Yeah, and a Solace here is, you know, Alex, um, if Mogert were to drop the stock here, um, is comfortable with Incineroar. So that's a start. You have to take every silver lining at this point. Yeah. And for for Mogert, again, you have to stay within your stay within your means. Don't try and do too much. Um, oh, a little greedy on the uh, F <laughs> smash there. Got the shield pretty low, but uh, not low enough as Incineroar is able to keep this thing rolling. And oh, catches him with the uh, Alolan whip, and that's going to be it. So down to one man left. And it is going to be a lot to bring this thing back again. Never impossible. But you have three stocks left. They have nine. You've got to take three stocks for every stock that you have yourself. Um, it is a tall order. It's not, not going to be too tall for LCU. We'll see how they're able and to answer. You can it. lose those two stocks. Just mm -hmm. don't lose that last yeah. one. It's just And you can lose two stocks and take as much percentage as you want on that, on that third don't one. Lose don't lose that die. last one. <laughs> don't drop the last one. And so we'll see who else you decides to, to put in to finish this thing off. But um, if you had to give a message to this team, win or lose here, uh, what, are, what are you saying to these um, guys right yeah, now? Yeah, we've just seen so much growth. Um, all of these guys have improved uh, numerous facets of each of their gameplay and um, a, a good season um, with good foundation to do even better next season. Mm. So uh, don't don't uh, take it too rough, it, rough if you drop it, but don't let it go to your head if you do manage to make this mm. back. And I think that's, I mean... That's exactly what I told to to the League of Legends guys. Uh, we we had a rough season, obviously, but um, the, you have to look at the growth that you've taken throughout the semester and and see f where we started from where we finished and know that uh, there there has been growth and the opportunity that's going to come up next semester because this is every uh, semester. If, if anybody knows the <clears throat> we're building this year, <laughs> it, it's the Rangers fans. Yeah, exactly. so. <laughs> <laughs> and uh you know that's the the beauty of esports is you get to come back next semester you have christmas break and you're back at it whereas other sports you've got to wait until next year uh and let that marinate this one I, we're right christmas back break at it and, and you're going again and so uh you can't you cannot get too too low or too high however this breaks down because you know you're right back at it very quickly as uh, it is going to be Grin taking on this Incineroar and doing a really good job right now. Yeah, a big lead here early, not taking too much percent, finds another F-Tilt, good stage positioning, gotta find an answer to uh, get this Incineroar kept off stage. And right now this Incineroar, any, any percentage, any stock that he can take is very big for a and International because they do have the lead that they do. Um, he could technically lose all three of his stocks, only taking one, and, and that's enough. Something. Yeah, that's yeah. plenty. And so, if you are green, you've got to play careful. You've got to keep doing what you're doing right now. Which Back throw. Is, He's gonna oh, mash out. No. Did end up mashing out. Did not that time, but it doesn't quite finish. Yeah, a little too deep into the stage. 
Down air, back air, huge percent. Darkest Lariat, there's a stock off of Grin. And at 180%, a lot of stuff, a lot of options to, to get rid of this Incineroar stock, and you've got to find the right one. Um, now at 200. Finds a dash tech there to do it off the top. And they are even at two stocks apiece right now. Ooh, getting out there, getting greedy with it. Alex worms his way back onto that ledge, but sent immediately back out again. This Incineroar. No punish there. Over everybody, you. a little bit of spaghetti from everybody there. <laughs> At 95%, Grin has to be very, very careful as he is on the verge of going down to his final stock. I, I like jumping out off the stage like that against Incineroar. It can make him really nervous and, and show that you're willing to go out there and contest them off stage. This percentage is going to keep mounting for both players. See which one is able to uh, capitalize off of the high percentage. Finds an up air there. Can't keep the advantage state. Ooh. A low limb whip gonna kill from mid stage at that high rage percent. So one more stock for LCU. Grin finds the up smash. And a, a lot of this right now for, for Grin, whether they win or lose, build yourself some momentum going into next semester. Uh, show what you can do. Give it all. I, I believe in the crazy comeback here. He's got it. To this is going to be like a zero to death. And again, you said it. All you need is that one stock. All you have to have is one stock on the board. And it doesn't matter how many they have. He's building that percentage. He was at a pretty big disadvantage uh, when they were both at two stocks. He brought it back. Yeah, that's something Incineroar is very good at, is uh, closing those gaps. Mm -hmm. And now both players at that high. Ooh, armor's through. Could have got the spike hitbox of the Wolf Flash, but, uh, you know, a B armor. <laughs> Incineroar things. Just uh, duty to Incineroar things. <laughs> Down smash, Ooh. nobody home. Back throw sends it into disadvantage. Could be looking for the Cheeto fingers here. Neutral get up into back throw. Not quite going to clean it up yet. Revenges the uh, blaster and nice. finds a nair and gets that one. Very good from Grin right there. Extend this out. And that 89% that he had taken. Go go down swinging. It, it, is, it is back to zero. So he, he got the three from that Incineroar. Now he's got to focus on whoever uh, a and International decides to put up to to face him. I believe the Jigglypuff is uh, still on the table. Yeah. Um, uh, Puff, uh, we, were, we were looking for a link somewhere yeah. in here. Uh, Rob still. Yeah, the Rob was somebody else we saw last set that, that still has not been... Uh, has not been shown yet, but there was a there was a Ganador somewhere that I suspect is this Incineroar player, because they tend to they tend when it, when someone mains Ganon they tend to have an Incin. <laughs> cross cross paths sometimes. <laughs> As uh, LCU could be gearing up for their their final, I guess final match of the season. Um, Alex is definitely looking to not make that the case. He wants to extend this out and uh, see a whole nother set if he's able to if he's able to do so. Um, he's got one stock. A and M International has six stocks to use themselves. You know, just two back to back JV fours is all it takes. Easy peasy. Easy money. He was this. I'll tell you guys. Alex has him right where he wants him. <laughs> he was telling yeah, me before he's got we him started. so confident and <laughs> down to last stock. He's just now it's gamer time. He's like, I just want them to think that they have a chance, so then I can just in, in the last it. possible moment just crush them. <laughs> there needs to be, and I've said this for a long time, and this should be a competitive character in the game. They should add Thanos, and he's, you have no. you have an ability. No. That's a 50-50% chance. You either win or you lose. No. And that would be perfect for a situation like this. No. We could take the 50-50. <laughs> Listen, I had to hear about them potentially adding Fortnite guy into my favorite video game. Uh, oh, not Jonesy. No. <laughs> that would be... Uh... It was bad enough when we got Steve, okay? 
That was kind of shocking. <laughs> well, you should have seen the Min Min reactions, actually. <laughs> oh, goodness. Hey, you I'm know just... what's bad when even Japan's like, eh. <laughs> What are we doing? Come on. Come on, Sakurai. <laughs> and we are underway. It is the Rob that you mentioned that will be taking the stage on PS2. Oh, no. Got the sour hitbox. Got a little lucky there, but big danger for Grin here. Wolf Flash back to the ledge. Nearly was exactly the same way we saw it happen in set number one, but set did get that sour spot, so Grin lives to fight a little bit longer. Gets a rapid jab there. Finds uh, fair to fair. Just trying to make this Rob a little bit uncomfortable. Every little bit of damage gets you a little bit closer. Has to be careful though, as he is at nice, good job with the reflex, but at 88% himself, has to be very careful about how he chooses to go forward with things. That was some really good spacing from the Rob to get out of that uh, F smash or F tilt. Does have that? Uh, oh, well, never finds mind. a strong hit him there. There, very good move, Wolf Nair. And Alex is just trying to claw this back even further. He's caught in the train. Does get out of it though. And five to one on the stock count. You've got Grin at a hundred and twenty-seven percent. Just trying to keep this thing rolling, keep playing, use this advantage, or use the use the use the rage. rage. Ooh, advantage. cannot get hit by that back air. Good air dodge, but runs in the nair. Dangerous situation off stage. Barely makes it back to the ledge. Wolf flash gonna connect, but sour hit, so no spike hitbox. Nair, not quite doing it yet. Oh, Fire wolf over to uh, get to uh, this Rob here, throwing out the unorthodox options. Whiffs the uh, grab, gets a turnaround there, finds an up smash, but not going to do it off the top. 200% for Grin here. And you have to take this stock, and then you can start thinking about stock number three and maybe getting something to go your way. I like that roll back there. Unfortunate that Rob gets to follow up with the dash attack there, but, um, you know, it was the only option that gets you out without dying. Not quite going to do it there. Needs a little more percent before that back throw will kill here. And this Rob at 156%. And that's going to do it. And yeah. that throw going to take it. Unfortunate. Great showing right there by Grin, though. Yeah, and, and again, these guys should not be sad about their mm -hmm. season. They've all improved so, so much. Um, when, I, when I came in to this program to start helping them out, none of them could even take a stock off an E. And now some of them, if I were to see them in my bracket path, I'm like, okay, i got to buckle down. <laughs> or I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drop this set. And, and to come in against a team you've lost to in the past uh, and to have a good showing like that, um, a team that is undefeated on the season, ranked 10th by Nace, uh, it, it, you can't get down on yourselves. Um, you said it, and I did as well, that you, you're back to playing here in, in a month. Yeah, pretty well, much. one month, one <laughs> month, and we're back. And so you've got to just keep, keep preparing, keep getting ready, and get ready for next season. Um, division semifinals is nothing to uh, get your head down about. Uh, they played well, and you got to grow on that and, and get a little bit closer, a little bit closer next year. Yeah, but um, yeah, again, an, an incredible season for all of uh, LCU esports, let alone the Smash guys. Um, super proud of what everybody's been getting done here. Uh, mm -hmm. Like you said, a couple more. Uh, Esports events to go still. Yeah. A couple we've of got, deeper uh, runs. We've got playoff games next Monday and Tuesday. The Rocket League team and the Overwatch team are both looking to win their division championships. So we'll see we'll see those games Monday and Tuesday. Make sure y'all tune into those. Check social medias for when the games are gonna be at and uh tune in. Massive shout out to the Smash Bros team. They played incredible. Didn't get the result they were looking for, but we will see them back in better than ever next semester. 
Uh, also, I want to give a big shout out to Val. Appreciate all of the work that is done by Val, setting up the stream, making sure everything looks good, making sure we sound good. Uh, again, none of these streams could be done with, without our production, and, and Val did that tonight. So big, big shout out to Val. And to Scotty, appreciate you commentating yeah, with no me. Yeah, no worries, it's always, uh, it's always a great time, and uh, that'll do it. Massive shout-out also to all the people in the chat. Really appreciate y'all being here and uh, taking time out of y'all's day to support these guys. I know it means the world to them that they've got people who are showing up and, and watching their games. So make sure y'all leave them a, a nice message in the chat and let them know that y'all are watching. Uh, they'll go through and they'll, they'll read those messages. So... That'll do it for us. For Val, Scotty, I'm Landon, and we will see you guys in the next one.